I don't want to just lose weight. I want to be happy and be healthy, not to sound like a Cheerios commercial. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a little bit of a progress update. I think I want to do this every week just to let you guys know what worked and what didn't and what adjustments I'm making along the way and hopefully get a little bit of advice from you guys as well. So this week I am going to share a, a weigh-in progress update. I think my plan is to keep doing a weekly weigh-in at least at the start, maybe the first two months or so because I'm new at this and I wanna make sure that I'm moving in the right direction with um, my calorie goals and, and all of that. So I did my weigh-in this morning and I am down 4.2 pounds, which I'm very excited about. This week I've been feeling my pants fitting looser and that actually started last week when we made the initial switch off of all the simple carbs and all the terrible stuff that we were eating. So it's really good to feel that happening and then see it reflected on the scale. I know that at the end of the day, the scale isn't what matters. It's how I feel about myself and what I'm able to do, what my body allows me to do. Um, but all of that is going in the right direction right now. This past week, I enjoyed pretty much everything that we had for meals. Um, one of my favorites, so meal of the week or meal spotlight, we'll figure out what we're gonna call this. Um, was the avocado pea pesto. It was really rich, so I want to tweak it a little bit. I think that adding uh, maybe some roasted grape tomatoes would be perfect. It needs a little bit of acidity. So I'm gonna tweak it a little bit before I share with you guys, but that'll be coming at some point. So some of the things that I'm tweaking for this week. Um, I noticed that being back at work, I'm chatting with friends and getting through my inbox and, and taking care of a lot of small things right at the beginning. And the first couple days this week, I didn't eat breakfast until around 9.30. So I'd have my glass of water, my big glass of water in the morning to get my metabolism going. And then I'd have every intention to start eating breakfast um, right when I got in and that just wasn't happening. I also noticed that I'm not getting enough protein. So what I started doing on Thursday and Friday these last two days was having a protein shake on my drive into work. And I found that that helped me kickstart my day and gave me some energy and kept me full until it was time for my morning snack. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna keep drinking a protein shake on the way into work and then have maybe a mini breakfast because the protein shake that I have is 110 calories and I know you're supposed to aim for a little bit more than that. So what I'm gonna do this week is keep that going, keep having the protein shake on my way in and then have basically like a half portion of breakfast. My plan this week is oat pancakes. So I'll make those this weekend and I can just have them every day and then carry on with my normal, you know, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. The other thing that I've noticed is my water intake is nowhere near where it needs to be. So I've been kind of setting a theme for each week. My first week was commitment. I'm doing this, I'm changing my life, this is happening. This past week has been Reacclimatizing myself. So getting back into work and sticking to the healthy choices that I'm making. This coming week, it's gonna be water. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting my daily goal, but also making sure that it's spread out throughout the day. I'm not just chugging at the end of the day to make sure I hit my goal. Um, so I will let you guys know next week how I did on that. And then the next week's goal is exercise. And the reason that I'm not introducing that right away is because I know I'm gonna get overwhelmed. I've done this countless times where I try to go full bore and 
I do really healthy eating, I'm pushing myself exercising, and I just, I can't keep up with it. I get overwhelmed, I get obsessive and I get overwhelmed. So I'm trying to figure out what the best cadence will be and what my goals are gonna be. I'm never successful when I'm not doing both. I need to be committed to an overall lifestyle change for this to be successful. And one of the things that goes into that is changing my mentality, changing how I feel about myself and doing the things that I need to to be healthy all around. I want to be a happy person and I want to be well and healthy and able to do the things that I want to do and I'm making a commitment to staying on top of all of those aspects. So now that I'm getting a little more clarity about what this channel is going to be, um, I hope you'll stick around and see what other updates I have for you along the way. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below to get more updates from me on my progress. You can hit the like button to celebrate my 4.2 pound victory this week and comment below to tell me what else you want to hear about from me in my journey. Thanks everyone. Bye.